I'm Shilpa Shadi Kundra and this is The Art of Balance. Sit in Vajrasana or a cross leg, pose with the hands resting on the knees, spine tall and shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, slowly. Circle the next, starting from the side to tilt head backwards. Exhale. Circle the chin downwards, from the other side. Complete the circle, with smooth, rhythmic movements. Do not strain. Feel the stretch in the neck muscles all through the circles. Circle the neck only and do not move the ribs or the rest of the torso. Inhale as the neck is tilted backwards and exhale as the chin circles in the forward direction. Do not hold your breath. Inhale as the head moves up. Exhale as the head moves down. Sit in cross leg pose with your spine erect. Place the fingers of your left hand on your left shoulder and the fingers of your right hand on your right shoulder. Fully rotate your elbows at the same time, making large circles in opposite directions. Practice 5 times clockwise, and then 5 times anti-clockwise. Try to touch your biceps to the ears while going upward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together while going backward. Touch the sides of your torso on the downward movement and touch your elbows in front of your chest on the forward movement. Keep the rest of your torso steady. Breathe normally. Tighten your abs and lift up from the base of your spine to maintain upright posture. Stand at the feet with two foot apart. While breathing in, raise the arms from the front over the head. While breathing out, bend forward. Twist the trunk to the right. Bring the left hand to the right foot. The right arm should be outstretched vertically so that both arms form a straight line. Keep belly tightened and think of growing taller and wider through the middle fingers. Repeat on the other side. Look up at the left hand. Do not lean or bend forward from the torso. Throughout the asana, stay focused on the breath. The stretch will be felt in the inner thigh of the right leg and on the other side of the left hip. Pull up your kneecaps and push the outside of the back foot into the mat. While breathing in, raise the body, come back to the starting position, and relax. Stand straight. 
Step your feet into a wider than shoulder with position toes pointed forward. From here, pivot the right foot out by 90 degrees and turn the hip to the right while the back foot turns in by 45 degrees. Align the heels. Inhale as you raise the arms overhead in Namaste. Exhale. Bend in the front knee so that your right shin is vertical and you are in a lane. Hold this position and breathe normally here. Inhale. Bring the arms down from the side of your hips. Now repeat on the left side. Inhale. Bring the arms overhead and namaste. Duck the tailbone in and focus on elongating the torso up towards the ceiling. Gaze in the front to challenge your balance. You can gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhale, bring the arms down and exhale. Come back to starting position. Stand straight when the left knee and hold the left ankle with the left palm, bringing the heel close to the left. Butter is the right arm in front of the chest. Right knee stays straight. Keep the abs engaged by pulling the navel into balance press into the big toe and heel. You should feel the stretch in the left hand string, right cord receipts, and right shoulder. Exhale as you come to the standing position, and then release the grip on the left ankle. Now, when the right knee, and hold the right ankle with the right bomb inhale, engage your abs and lean forward with the torso. Gaze in the front. You should feel the stretch in the right hamstring, left quadriceps, and left shoulder. Try to bring the torso and the back thigh parallel to the floor. Yay, and there is good news. We are halfway there. Stay positive, determined, and committed to your health goal and get the most out of this wonderful body. To begin, lie down on your back. Bend your right knee, then your left knee, and keep your feet apart. Hold your ankles with your hands. Now inhaling, slowly lift your lower back, middle back, and upper back as much as you can off the floor.
Try lifting your back as high as possible and expand your chest upwards. Come back to the starting position and relax. Sit in Vajrasana kneel on the knees with the arms at the sides. The legs and feet are separated to make the back bend more comfortably. Inhale here. Exhale, lean backward and slightly to the right and slowly reach for the right heel with the right hand and then the left heel with the left hand. Do not strain. If you are unable to do so, support your lower back with both palms and then lean back. Return to the erect position by slowly crossing the left arm over the waist first. The weight of the body should be evenly supported by the legs and arms. If you experience discomfort in the neck or back, limit the range of the back bend. Keep the navel gently pulled in towards the spine. You should feel a stretch in the chest. Add thighs and hip flexors. Come out of the arsenal very gently. Come back to the starting position and relax. Lie down on your stomach. Make sure your feet are together with the torus against the floor. Place your arms underneath the shoulders. Now placing your body's weight on your palms, inhale and raise your head and trunk. Arch your back and make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Think of growing taller from the neck, shoulders, and spine. Keep navel pulled into the spine to support your lower back. Inhale slowly, bring down your body, rest your chin on the ground, then forehead touching the ground, and relax. Lie flat on your stomach, with your feet together and your arms and hands beside your body. Bend your knees and bring your heels close to your buttocks. Interlock your fingers around your ankles, arch your back, lifting your thighs, chest and head together. Keep your arms straight.
come back to the starting position. Lie down on your back, with straight legs, arms by your side. Bend both the legs, and place them hip, with distance. Hold the ankles and the palms, to ensure that they are closer to the hips. Take the pumps and place them behind the shoulders, ensuring your fingers are splayed open and pointed towards your shoulders. Now press into both the heels and palms, to lift the hip up. Squeeze the glutes to keep the hips stable. Gaze in the front or between the palms. Focus on lifting the chest up. Avoid buckling the knees and keep them in line with the toes. To come down when the elbows dug the chain in and slowly rest the back of the head on the floor, then the upper back mid-back and then the lower back and hips on the floor. Sit in any comfortable meditation posture, preferably Padmasana. Those who cannot sit in a meditation posture may sit against the wall with the legs outstretched or in a chair, which has a straight back. Keep the head and spine upright, relax your whole body and close your eyes. Your hands should be in the nose tip position. Hold the fingers of the right hand in front of the face. Rest the index and middle fingers gently on the eyebrow center. Both fingers should be relaxed. The thumb is above the right nostril and the ring finger above the left. These two digits control the flow of breath in the nostrils by alternately pressing on one nostril, blocking the flow of breath and then the other. Close the right nostril with the thumb and breathing through the left nostril. Do not strain. Close the left nostril with the ring finger. Release the pressure of the thumb on the right nostril and the time for inhalation and exhalation should be equal. Inhale through the right nostril, keeping the same count. At the end of inhalation, close the right nostril, open the left nostril and exhale through the left nostril. Inhale through the right nostril, keeping the same count. Open the left nostril and exhale through the left nostril. Inhale through the right nostril, keeping the same count. Lie flat on the back with your arms comfortably away from your body, palms facing upward. A thin pillow of folded cloth may be placed under the head to prevent discomfort. Let the fingers curl up naturally, move your feet slightly apart to a comfortable position and close your eyes. Release all the stress from your muscles and relax. Feel the relaxation. Focus on your muscles. Relax your toes, heels, ankles, your shin, your curves. Your knees backside of your thighs, front side of your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your abdomen. Your root chakra, the base of your spine, mid-back, your stomach, your upper back, your upper chest, 
shoulders, arms, your elbows, your forearms, your wrist, your fingers and your palms. Sit in Sukhasana. Keep your back straight but feel relaxed in this position. Place your hands in the Dhyana Mudra. Close your eyes and mouth and breathe normally. Inhale and while you exhale, chant OM. As you finish chanting OM three times, bring your hands in the prayer position and chant Shanti three times. Now rub your hands against each other and place it on your eyes. Feel the warmth. peace of mind. It's time for me to sign off. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Tab tak ke liye, swast raho, mast raho.